here with Katie Welker to preview the 2024-25 Concordia shooting sports season. Uh, as we record this, it's the first week of, of classes, first chance to kind of bring this particular team together uh, for practice. Uh, just wanted to start out though with um, how about something that you did this summer uh, that was fun, kind of away from uh, Concordia. Yeah, so I actually went and traveled to Ohio and Michigan uh, for some competitions and for SCTP Nationals I won the Collegiate Women's Handicap National Championship so that was good and then competed in the Junior Olympics for Women's Bunker and got third for Collegiate Women there so uh, good time traveling. It was a long trip so I was ready to be home after but good results. Uh -huh. so you're used to traveling all over yeah. for, for competitions then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, well, when when you were going through kind of the recruiting process, uh, you're, you're from South Dakota, so not super far away, I guess. But what? How did you learn about Concordia, and, and why did this end up being your your place to go? Yeah, so I actually just kind of looked up what schools had shooting programs, and at the time, Coach Mignot was the coach here, and so I reached out to him and met with him over the summer, and then eventually came and visited and just felt a really good connection to the team and to the campus and ultimately decided to make this my next home. How did you first get involved in the shooting competitively? Uh, it's not necessarily a sport that everybody picks up, so when, how did you get into it? My dad shot when he was in high school um, and my, I have three older brothers that all shot as well, so a lot of my childhood I was spending time on the range. and. I was going to shoot whether I wanted to or not, and I just fell in love with it, and I'm thankful to be where I am today. Mm -hmm. uh, what's been kind of the, the some of the best experiences you've had so far at Concordia since you've been here? I've met a lot of great people from a lot of different places, and just getting to make those connections, and also just getting to travel. I love traveling, so kind of goes hand in hand with shooting. You get two birds with one stone, and Probably one of my favorite memories was going to Las Vegas for freshman nationals. Um, I'd never been there, so it was quite the experience to get to shoot and just to get to see the city. So, great experience there. Right. Las Vegas and, and then San Antonio uh, last year, or this past spring, I guess. Um, how do you kind of assess the way last season went and what, what you want to build upon it, kind of yourself and as a team and, and what what you what you're looking to improve on mm -hmm. I definitely had um, numbers that I wasn't very satisfied with last year and I've been working hard over the summer to perfect my skills in each event and I'm really looking forward to this year I think we've got another great team great group of freshmen coming in and so just looking to improve in all areas for each discipline and hopefully bring home a national championship mm -hmm. What do you enjoy most maybe about this this time when you're first coming back, you're getting to meet some new people on the team? Um, what, what has that process been like this preseason and what have you enjoyed about it? Yeah, so I've known, got to know some of the freshmen and one of the recruits I actually brought in, I shot with him in high school so I've known him for a while so it's exciting having him here and getting to know everyone else too. We've had a couple nights where we've all just kind of hung out trying to get to know each other better so and I'm sure that will continue throughout the season so I'm really looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. How would you describe kind of the bond that builds um, in a, a, a sport like this? Um, in some ways it, it's individualized but there also is a, a greater team aspect to it. Um, it's definitely an individual sport but you also, it's a team sport at the same time. We we really build on each other and try to help each other get better. We're not just worried about ourselves. So I really love that about our team. I would consider everyone on the team another family member. Um, we're all very close, which I love. And so definitely it's a family away from home, which is nice. It, it sounds like uh, you've had a chance to shoot at a, a lot of different courses, a lot of different states and cities. What's been your your favorite? I would still say probably Vegas. Yeah. 
it was a beautiful range. You had the mountains in the background and then you could also just look down on the city. And so I had also never been in that area of the country. So it was really cool to get to experience that while also getting to compete for the school. Uh, what's your favorite event to shoot? My favorite is probably sporting plays just because you get so many different target presentations. But I also do best at trap because I shot trap uh, was the very first thing I ever shot. So kind of a toss up between the two. Uh, one of the last things here, uh, in your mind, what would make this a, a successful season? I think a successful season would just be competing to the best of our abilities, but also having fun. If you're not having fun, then what's the point of even doing it? You have to be able to enjoy your time and not stress yourself the whole time you're shooting. So. All right, lastly, can I get a, a SCO Dogs? Yeah, SCO Dogs.